coverage you can count on. This is KSBW Action News 8. Meanwhile, doctors I spoke with tonight said getting the vaccine to more people will go a long way in protecting the most vulnerable among us. For most, receiving the vaccine is a life-changing return to normalcy. But for those like Tessa Gallo, it meant nothing. I thought when she got her vaccine, we were going to be able to get her life back and she would be able to be a part of our family, family celebrations, get back to school. She has built up zero antibodies. Teresa Downing says her daughter has a rare condition called autoimmune encephalitis. Basically having like arthritis in your brain instead of um, arthritis attacking your knee, it's attacking her brain. It requires her to be on multiple chemotherapies that significantly disrupt her immune system. And doctors are discovering it means her and those like her can't produce enough infection fighting cells. The best protection for them is for everyone else to get vaccinated. Dr. Hugh Nguyen is a doctor with Lucille Packard Children's Hospital at Stanford. He says the best defense for those immunocompromised is everyone else getting protected. It's not just protecting yourself, but it's protecting your community, especially the part of the community that is can't protect themselves. Nguyen said shots going into the arms of everyone 12 to 15 years old will represent a major step towards protecting those like Tessa and the thousands like her on the Central Coast who receive services from organizations like Coastal Kids Home Care. Our children in general um, need the rest of society to remember that there's fragile people out there. I am terrified. Uh, I just, you know, I don't want to keep her in a bubble. Uh, no one deserves to live like that. Um, but I also don't want to subject her to something that could absolutely kill her if she gets it. And during today's media briefing, Dr. Edward Moreno said his agency estimates about 63% of Monterey County residents 16 and over have already received at least one shot of a vaccine. Dr. Moreno said people 12 to 15 years old represent about 5% of the population here in the county. And it is important to note that Dr. Nguyen emphasized today, Aaron, at this point, there really is no consensus on what percentage of the population it takes in order to reach herd immunity, again, that's still yet to be seen. And I think it's probably worth reiterating what, what we heard in your report, that we need to remember the most fragile among us. Exactly. Important. All right. Thank you, Christopher.